Hi guys, I'm Sam from Website Right. Hope you're doing well and have been enjoying the sun recently. Absolutely gorgeous outside. Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk to you about adding a hyperlink using jQuery. Now, you may encounter this scenario on occasions if you're using a page builder especially, because maybe you've put that little icon over there or the element looks really good, that block looks fantastic, but you want it to be clickable, but in the actual page builder, there's no option to put a hyperlink in there, which is really annoying. In which case, you'll need to use a combination of CSS and jQuery to make this happen. CSS to create the little hand pointer effect when you hover over that area, and then of course jQuery to execute the link when you click it to take you to the page of your choice. This quick tutorial will show you exactly how to do it, so I hope it helps. So here's a website I've actually just finished for a client, which I'm really proud of, called Coastal Cupboards. Uh, this website was made using a page builder, WP Bakery page builder. And as you can see, it looks really nice. But um, there are certain blocks within all sorts of page builders, not least WP Bakery, whereby you can't actually click the element because they don't include the option to have a hyperlink here. So for instance, these icons here, let me just go into the admin for the home page. Let's expand it out. And then you can see here, this is the icon quality finish, as you can see, quality finish. And uh, if I actually click the options, you've got all sorts of options. You can change the color, you can change the icon type, the positioning, the text, the title, everything but there's nowhere for a hyperlink, which is really annoying. So for anywhere where you need a hyperlink, you need to use a combination of jQuery and CSS to actually make this happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna make the whole column. I'm gonna put a CSS class on it and I'll call it, I don't know, a custom hyphen link like so. I'm gonna save the changes and then click update. Now, what this means is when we actually refresh the page, I'll be able to see in the code or I'll use the Google Chrome developer tools in order to see the fact that I've added this class. So if I right click, click inspect, you'll actually see. Yeah, as you can see here, the div class there has got custom link attached to it. So look. There you can see, so anywhere that's you know clickable in that area will be clickable with custom hyphen link. So that's all good, we've done that. Um, so now what we wanna do is actually make it so that when you hover over that area, there's at least gonna be the little icon because you notice when you hover over a link, it goes to the little hand symbol. With this, you don't know it's a link. So obviously what we need to do is go and edit the CSS in order to make that happen. So what I'm going to do is just add some CSS and this is just going to be, uh, I'm just going to put it at the top here just as a little test here, just so you can see what's going on. I'm going to put custom hyphen link cursor equals pointer. So there we go, cursor semicolon pointer. So that means that when we hover over that area, you can see now it changes to a to an actual pointer, but obviously that won't do anything because we've not told it where to go. So CSS just does the styling, so that's all good. And what we'll do is we'll make it go to the reviews page, shall we? So anyway, let's click publish and get that CSS put live. And then what we wanna do, we want to add some jQuery to the code as well. Uh, now you should have an area within your theme where you can actually place some code. In my particular admin, it's actually within the theme options. If you can't find an area to, uh, to actually enter any uh, sort of JavaScript code, you may have to just download a plugin. There's one called Sogo Header and Footer, which is actually pretty good for that. But I've got my area in here, as you can see, my custom JS, and it should look like the following. So there we go, we're gonna change the class to be a custom hyphen link. And what we'll do is we'll change the link to say, point to the review site. So all you're saying is there, if anyone is to click on the element, which has got the ID of the class of custom link, then take it to that address. So what we're gonna do is click save changes. Okay, so I've now clicked save changes. So that means that if I was to refresh the website now, and let's have a look what happens when we click. 
there we go. We go to the review section. So that's how to do it. Just a combination of jQuery and CSS, but it can make any area clickable, even if you've got not got the option of having a hyperlink. If you found this video helpful, please do give us a thumbs up and also subscribe as well and hit that notification bell. And uh, I'll make sure that you're alerted next time a video is uploaded. All the best.